here at the balloon site right now. They're building the balloon. And you can see it holds 28 people is what they told me. So right now you come and you, they build the balloon in front of you. So they're in the process of building the balloon. So I'll give you more updates as we go. The next phase is we had to sit on the balloon over there. So if you can see it, we had to sit on the balloon so that they could get it out of its um, carrying case. itself is 45 minutes to put the balloon together is about 45 minutes so they seem to be doing a pretty fast job on getting it put together and blowing it up it's kind of an interesting thing to actually see versus having the balloons already ready to go they were going inside the balloon now to see what it is like inside of a little bit. It's kind of windy in here, but it only, only makes sense because they're adding in the, um, so this is the inside of a balloon. Pretty awesome. Okay, so the cables here run up the top, and that's how they assume the descent. So if they want to come down faster, they can open up that hole up there. A beautiful day for ballooning. There's three up already. Ours is extra big um, because it holds 28 passengers. And I don't know if you can see them, but we're out in the middle of a the field. There's cows out here. In a new process, we have the balloon pretty full, so they are now adding the heat to have the balloon rise. Is it's not just the air that keeps it, it is all or that makes the balloon go up, it's the actually the hot air that does it. Okay. So we'll put that in. You can see the balloon is starting to rise. We come back to this place just a little bit. There it goes. So it is going to now we got lift off off the ground. And our balloon is there we go, it's rising up, oh, it's taking the gondola with it as it goes, it's turning. So I don't know if they can catch this, but they make sure the gondola tied to the gondola. There we go, we have the complete lift up, that's what we're doing now. 
open book and somebody just sign you up writing it to get an ebook. Take off soon. Here comes Earl. One quick second. I'm sorry. No. Alright guys, well this lunar fly today stands a little over 10 stories tall. It displaces 500,000 cubic feet of air, which is how they measure the size of balloons. Probably doesn't mean a whole lot to you. Uh, to put it in perspective, those little helium balloons we sent off this morning to check the winds, they're roughly one cubic foot of air. So it would take 500,000 of those balloons to fill this. Yeah. So this is the single largest hot air balloon in America. There are no others this size and none larger. It was built by a company called Kubacek. Kind of a funny name. Uh, they don't think it's so funny though, it's their family name. It was built in the Czech Republic. Uh, Kubacek is a fairly common Czech name. Uh, it was built three years ago. scenic flight today. First we're going to fly over uh, the largest shooting range in the country right here and then once we get past the shooting range we go over a prison <laughs> and then if, if we get if we make it past both those things we strike gold and we're at the outlet stores in Apple. So, <laughs> life is good. Uh, Alright, so we're going to an outlet mall. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what the lake is over there? That is Lake Pleasant. Uh, it is Lake Mount, Pleasant? Yeah, right up, up against the mountains off to the, uh, the, west, the north, northwest. It's Lake Pleasant. Pleasant's a man-made lake. The water that's deposited there comes from the Colorado uh, through the Central Arizona Project. Can I help? I don't know if you can see this or not, but the balloon is down and we're ready to load onto the truck. Um, 
is quite a interesting adventure. Definitely recommend. <laughs> the balloon came crashing down to the ground, spilling out people all over the French countryside. And those who survived would immediately come to their hands and knees, just as you have this morning, and kiss, kiss the ground. The and thanks for being back on Mother Earth. So we got a bit of a dirty spot here, so I'll spare you the ground kissing. But what I'd like to do, there's an Irishman who came up with a balloonist prayer. So I'd like to recite the balloonist prayer. And at the end of the prayer, I'd ask that you put your hands behind your back, lean over and kiss your glass. Oh. Now your glass is connected to the ground. So in essence, you're doing what you're supposed <laughs> to be doing at the end of the flight by kissing the ground. Uh, to make it even better, I'm gonna come through and fill your glass first. <laughs> so as I pass by, if you wouldn't mind just holding up your glass for me. And if you could tell me whether you'd prefer champagne juice or a combination of the two which we call a balloonist sunrise <laughs> you may know it by a different name but for today it's going to be a balloonist sunrise and earl would you mind delivering that other bottle over to you please yes, sir. <clears throat> all right hey what can i get you there um, yeah, a little bit of both okay good choice that's what i usually have two or three of these before every flight <laughs> goes a lot better you do the same all right <laughs> there we go. Just orange. All right. I love your shirt. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> Just champagne. Okay. Take champagne. Because she's not getting any, so you get it I'll all. I'll take her share. There we go. I think that's fair. Mimosa me. All righty. Well, I can only give you a balloon at sunrise, but I hope that'll do for you. Absolutely. All righty. I'll do a balloon sunrise too. All righty. You got it. Excellent. Sunrise also. You got it. I'll film you, Dad. There we go. Just orange. Just orange. Right. Hey, you gotta get well. the motion picture going. Great, thank you. Uh -huh. Just orange, right. just please. All right. Thanks. Okay. It has to say the very... Okay, like this. Okay. There we go. Softness. The sun has blessed you with his warm hands. You have flown so well and so high that God has joined you in your laughter and set you gently back again into the loving arms of Mother Earth. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, go for the glass.